Welcome back, Ninja. Already, we don't already see the introduction of React. We don't see how JSX they work. We don't see how we feel even create our own components. We don't even start to talk about props. But make we talk about one very important thing for React. And then a list. It gets some things. Maybe say you suppose to know about list. Maybe say if you know follow those rules about list for React, you're gonna get unwanted issues. So for this video like this, I go tell them everything one I need know about list. If you don't use React, I you still don't understand. I promise you, eh? By the time we don't finish this video, bar you go don't understand waiting list they do for React. As we don't come here, uh, for inside our VS Code, make I from the previous video, make we clean all this code we carry from the previous video. So this now waiting we get. We get this empty React component. We could just tell us say uh, hi for here now. So make we run up. Uh, I could just press Control and the back tick for my keyboard. That go open my terminal for inside VS Code. For inside my terminal, I could just run pnpm run dev. And then we'll go hit enter for that. This thing will help me start my React project for this server for here, for this local host. So I will click this local host and it will help me show for inside my browser for here. So now we know say everything they work. Maybe move on to this side. As we don't clean all this thing and we don't set up our project, I got to show now what I get for here. So for inside this here now, I get this dummy dash data JS. I just put them here, say this not just user information, we go they use as an array. This not just one single array, we will just they use. So this go give us plenty information here. And uh, we just want to use that information, we want print the information for here. So how we go take add all these names for here? How we go take list them? Now don't ID, now we don't the code with us since we don't know, say by now we go need to loop over all these names, right? Now how we go take do that for React? How we go take loop over them? So to do that, we could just say one call import them. So for the very top of this our file, just top our CSS, we could just say import. I can even do IMP. And press tab for my keyboard that will help me do import so you go first put your curly brace for here and now inside here you go fit add that name of all users okay so once you done like this for my vs code it will help me quickly set up the remaining things set up the parts of where i did import them from let me console log down say all users you can see say make we open up the dev tree for here you can see say we get this array for here right and this array just gets some kind of information let me pull them up here like this is say this array just gets some kind of information for here make we we'll just get only the name and make we we'll get the website of the user okay so make we do that like that so how you gonna take drum for we'll say uh we go fish on for here for react so as we don't import the data now and we don't see what's in it be make we say we want write a list so we could just say since we want to do our list we could come inside this our component instead of high end again instead this time what we want now a ul so we want like an unordered list right and inside every unordered list you know say we're gonna need to drop a list inside so we just say we want a list inside here and this list now now here we're gonna put everything where we want right so now here we want to put all the things where we want for our user so make we say uh for inside this list we want to display the user's full name so make we say we want them in a p tag because list we take all these things so we'll say for inside this list we want put a full name make we add another p tag and inside this p tag make we nest an anchor tag inside them so we'll say we want an anchor tag then make we use some back ticks for here so that we could fit make the values more interesting to the work with and then we'll just put a hash for now so for inside here now what you want to be say make we just talk websites for here so make we style them a bit itself even so make we just use some inline styles I don't say this now about list, but just so that we go be familiar with these things. So now whenever um they do react and I feel follow along, now we don't know what thing they do for here, and I feel skip go front safe. No other. So we could just say for here, flex. Um since now flex box we they use, we won't set a gap, set them to like 30 for there. And then even say make we even align all the items. But what align now, we we'll say it will do the center. Make we save them. And if this is say now we get this name for here so if we add say dj if we say my name now dj my name will show for here so any website we put for here also 
we can put here so let me put a quick website so we'll just say dot example.com so if you do it like this we suppose get this website for here right so this is not just dummy data so how we gonna take put all this information how we gonna take put all that information for here and put them in a list we say we're gonna feed the write this thing every time so for example we're gonna need to they like write different copies of this duplicate that so how we could take do something like this but instead of writing the same content we're going to write everybody name with it here this is not very common and popular thing where you're going to need to learn all right so now we get only one for here and then make we just put some space here so that everything will be neat okay so now as we don't do it like this so make we just put uh our angle bracket since we want to write jsx make we start today um put our angle brackets for here and uh, for inside this angle brackets now here we want loop over all the things we want so make we say we want the all user array and then for inside this all user array make we just say we want map over RAM. because remember say now so we could take loop over RAM. now inside this one we want to say we want get the user so make we say we want the user we will just call this argument the user but we want come return something so we want return so we they use the path arrow function but we want implicitly what they call uh, implicit return this code for here all right so any element any jsx we put for here now we want to return so so which element we want to return simple we want to return this li so you come here make i just drag and put for here you can see say we feel return the li now so as it did here so make we press save and you see say we they get all these uh items we they get the li this many times okay so then i'm waiting with they do for here but we don't want just run this li all the time we want to put the values down we want to put all these values inside here so we could do like that so we could just come here if you just say we want to use uh what it is? yeah so here we could say we want full name make the full name make it be user dot name and then for here we can say make it be as soon as we don't guess for inside this curly brace we can say we want the user dot website and if we don't like this and we press save you will see say we don't they get all the names of all the people so make we continue uh make we change this one for here make we change the link so we want to make the link also change because if you check the link you know they link to anything so if you want to also change that link what is it what you're gonna do now just say you want the user dot website and just like that you don't get a whole list where you're gonna work with so this is not how you feed the work with list for react but the way we write this code bar you know to i want to talk them you know to sweet we're gonna like write them in a more react way so in a reusable way now so we go like right now so one of the best features for react we say we feel they do all this put them inside small small components right so that's not what we want to do so why we not just come out this li is i'm going to say we want to put them inside in own components we want to cut this out and then make we go to the top and then make we just add our own component we want a uh make we call them user I won't call this user component right so this user components we won't make it the expected props that's why we go comfy paste the li inside here all right so uh, i could just replace all these props we will see for here with user all these users i could just decommon them one by one so we could just control d control d and control d then i had they take they select all the users and then we could just change them to props okay so as they like this if i press save um prettier <laughs> okay i don't miss something for here um prettier suppose don't help me fix something but it's it, it, they okay uh make me try fix this code so oh yes oh yes i don't see the mistake why i make we go call return or we go call use this user component anytime where we want so if you just say we want user we want our user component this is not component make a wrapper for our jsx tags and we could just press save for now if we press on we don't help us show this our website say we get the props.name props.name and then make we just pass in those props where we get for here so we could just say we want the user make it done like this you can say you want this and then you can say you want your curly brace and then you can say you want user 
But if we pass them, this user we want to spread all the things we user get for them. We want to spread them in. So we go pass them all like this. And this way, if we press save for now, and it will still work the same. Why? We they use the spread operator. We they use and they spread all the values where they inside this user into this user component. Okay. So then now waiting, we they do instead of doing using the spread operator. We say we feel use the structuring. So I know say I feel make a whole video about spread and the structuring, but now gonna see me they use this thing a lot of times. So what we're gonna do, we say for inside here, instead of say make we they get only the users and uh now just one spread, one get all the users and that not all. What we want to be say we want collect the values from here when they destructure and when they come out the values from the object so make you see how we feed to use the destruction just to show now so we come here and uh, for inside this angle bracket where i don't write for here now here we're going to extract all the values when we want so for example if you want the name you can see say we get the name also because i did use vs code i feel just say i want to do control and uh, i go press space bar for my keyboard and it will give me all the values where they inside this object where this um array gets you understand you know say this array an array of objects right so the values where they inside them the um, keys and the properties everything i feel access them with this destructuring for here so so i don't say i want the email and then i can say i want the id and if we come inside this our own code so we don't need to spread all of them inside now so we'll just change them to name and we'll just pass in the name and if we pass in the email self and you go just pass in that email the id we go soon get to the id now and i'll go explain waiting what can the id do so if you look inside here inside my console you can see say we they get this error so if i just refresh the page now you can see we they get this warning rather no be error but now warning this be this they tell us say we go need to they add keys to all our elements where they render as children of this our list so every child for the list suppose they get in own key at least the parent child all right so what do we mean it just means say we won't put here into this element where will they show you know say now this user element so this now user element in fact make i open here if we come inside here and we go into the um components tab for here you can see somebody they get user 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 you see so this here this is not just user component we are going to need way to they track this user component this one it just means say we need to they put a key to ram the key now within react they use the track the list or the components where they render now in react is they track this one they track this one so that in case one change like this trim it reacts it go change only this one it no go change the remaining because traditional um web development or javascript it will change rather re it go re-render with the color render it will re-render everything you understand so instead of make react now can they re-render the whole list of items here we are going to render only this one we are not going to render this one you're not going to render this one you're going to render this one where i touch for years so you understand so these are the things where you go need to keep in mind whenever you they create lists so make we go back into our um vs code and we could bring this one to the other side all right then for inside of our vs code make we fix this thing i call them waiting i call them i call them email why wow, we call them email make i call them um where i put them for there for the list uh website sorry i <laughs> call them email so make i just call them um here we want websites so websites and uh, i could just pass a website for here also just so that we get something where we they work with so make we say we won't fix this um this error where we they get where they give us for the console so we they get this warning for the list i make we add the key so the key you will just add any prop so every jsx element it always come as an object we get a key or a, a a property of key so just you know say if you always for any jsx if you always write key you want to assign them to the id for here all right so if i press save now make me try refresh the page and see whether we don't come under error if i press save uh, and refresh you could see say now because react on the track this user um component you know they give you us that one in again if we refresh the page we're not supposed to get that one in anymore so because they track each of these items for here and if they see them at least you don't give them each one an id 
Then are the IDs where we get from here. So you don't, you don't say all these ones here. You say, say this is an ID one, ID two, and so forth. Now, so React they help us do. So, but um, another thing to say, what if your React component or what if your listener usually data where they come from is server? But what if this uh, data or information no get ID? What if what if they do no get ID? If you add your own ID, by the way, if you just come here, if you just say okay, well, instead of ID, let me we just assume say we no get any ID. Instead, I could just say I want the index. Remember, say the second parameter of the map method na an index number. That's the current index of the elements where they map over. So what you want to be say for inside here, after we don't destructure them, now to get the second parameter, now we want to. So the second parameter we define now the ID. I could just if you call them anything where you want, but me, I could just call them say IDX as per index. So, all right. So if you just come here, on our way, no watch the video about um when we've been work with map and we've been work with the index when if you go go back go watch that video a very interesting video you will understand what they try to do for here so if you say make we come here and then we put in the idx we're not supposed to even get that error again so make i clean this and make i press save for here uh if we refresh the page we no go get why because already each element it gets its own idx or your own index number so index zero will be the first one index one will be the second one so this now how we feed a use list for react so that all we will go fit length if you not enjoyed this kind of video i beg make and let me know if you not get suggestion you feel also let me know for the comment side of this video and they always they try reply but if you now want hear me directly no wala now if you join our telegram community otherwise thanks for watching oh.